This video is on how mindfulness helps you when things go wrong. So the basic idea is that by training yourself in certain skills in mindfulness when things generally are going smoothly, when things start to go wrong and they're difficult, those skills kick in and help you deal with those difficult times. So some of the basic skills that you work on while things are going relatively smoothly is developing a sense of your body and picking up when things start to tighten up or when there are temperature changes that illustrate some kind of anxiety or stress emerging. So you pick up the clues that something isn't quite right. And when things are relatively smooth, then these are sort of maybe just minor ups and downs and fluctuations, but you get used to being sensitive to them and picking them up quickly. So that's a, a sort of skill that develops. You just pick up the warning signs that you're starting to tighten, close down, maybe rigidify, get into all kinds of anxiety. Then on a, a more mental level, for a moment, just looking at that, in mindfulness practice, you, you get a sense of checking whether your mind is going off on some kind of story. And you get used to asking, is this relevant? Is this helpful? Is this true? And on the, if the answer to all of those is basically no, then you get used to sort of closing it down, just swiping it away. You just get used to that. No, come back to something else. So this coming back to something else is another skill. You have, as it were, I like the term creative option. Something you've chosen to pay attention to, that you're thinking about, that you're doing, that you're engaged with. And it's an alternative to the, just the random catastrophizing thought of, oh my God, it's all going to end terribly. You, you find yourself coming back to what you chose. You choose that. You stay with it as a positive alternative. And when the catastrophizing, to call that, starts to emerge, you notice it quickly and come back. Now, the skills of mindfulness in everyday life, in normal times, you could say, uh, is to notice quickly when the mind starts to go off on one and to, to clear it and to come back. So that skill serves you in good stead when things go wrong. The, uh, when something goes wrong, when you're about to miss an important engagement or uh, transport is messed up in some way uh, and your thought maybe out of old habits starts to get into anxiety mode you're used to that process of noticing it quickly closing it down and coming back so in that process of uh, closing it down you come to, your mind is then clear to find uh, practical, objective solutions to the problem. When your mind is very anxious and your body is sort of filled with adrenaline or some kind of panic, then you, you can't think clearly, actually. So by letting them those thoughts go and coming more back to say, for example, the breath to steady your mind, your mind then can start to think, what actually can I do? What is necessary here? What is objectifiably and practically possible? And you come up with a strategy with the clarity of mind that is not clouded by anxiety, and then you stick with it. Now, this sticking with a train of thought is one of the fundamental skills in mindfulness. Uh, you, staying with it, staying with the thread, staying with the continuity, following through, following through right to the end of a process. 
These are things which we can practice in our everyday mindfulness and they serve us particularly when things go wrong. So when things start to go wrong we can call on the reserve of these uh, skills that we've built up and have confidence in them actually. Uh, and the more that we've done them in uh, when things are going smoothly, the easier it is to deal when things go wrong. So I've talked a bit about the body and the thinking, but of course the same is also true when you're uh, just in your ordinary everyday life and you start to notice, perhaps through awareness of your thought or your body, that your emotions are getting anxious or stressed in some way. Uh, and your, your body and your thinking can give you clues about it. And you might find yourself short of breath, for exa example, or getting very hot. And then you have an opportunity to link uh, the sense of your emotions and the anxiety with your body and to ground your attention in something like the body or the awareness of what you're doing and especially perhaps the awareness of your torso and in this way it has a positive effect on calming the anxiety and worry that has arisen out of the unusual situation.